Hi guys, I'm Eileen. Today, I want to talk about why slowing down is important for all of us. So I've embraced luxury minimalism for about two years now, and it has changed my life in so many positive ways. But one of the major benefits is that I'm now able to slow down and live a more intentional life. When I'm not constantly rushing to buy the next thing or look for the best discount or keep up with the Joneses, I free myself from a lot of the unnecessary chaos and I'm able to focus on myself a bit more and what I truly want in life. Many of you know I've slowed down a lot when it comes to shopping and just spending in general. So I want to first of all talk about why it's so important to slow down in terms of shopping. I'm sure many of you will agree we now live in a world that is moving so fast. This is why there's a thing called fast fashion because instead of launching four collections a year, certain high street brands are now pushing out a new line every other week. This together with the low pricing is really encouraging consumerism and a lot of ways. In the UK, 300,000 tons of clothing go to the landfill every year. I personally don't think the habit of wearing something only for a few times before sending it to the landfill is healthy, whether it is for our wallet or for the planet. Now, this is not to say you should never buy anything from the high street brands, but I think the way we consume really does matter. In a way, fast fashion is a big business right now because there's a demand for it. So if it could all be a bit more intentional, it would really make a difference. In the past, I used to buy a lot from brands like Forever 21 and H&M because I thought they were affordable. But this mentality is the exact reason why people buy a lot of things they don't even like that much. So I would suggest even if an item only costs a few pounds, we should all slow down and think about if we really need this item in our life. Next, I want to talk about luxury or designer shopping. Now, I'm not sure if it's just me, but from what I've been seeing on social media, it feels like even luxury shopping is being consumed like fast fashion. Unlike fast fashion items, most of us will not put a Cartier watch or a Louis Vuitton handbag in the bin. Even though these expensive items most likely will not end up in the landfill, it doesn't mean it's sustainable. I truly believe we should all live below our means and for most of us, buying a designer handbag every other week is just not realistic, either financially or practically. I mean, even if you are fortunate enough to be able to afford this kind of spending, can you actually use so many handbags or jewelry pieces in your daily life? If not, is it actually worth it to spend so much time money and energy on these items that you will only mainly display in your own home. The thing is though, within the luxury community, you might sometimes get the vibe that more is better because you will come across a lot of videos about a luxury unboxing, expensive hauls and shopping sprees. These kind of videos are fun to watch for sure. In the past, when I was quite new to luxury shopping, I loved watching massive designer unboxing videos. Whereas now, I'm not as attracted to this kind of content, mainly because I'm quite intentional with my spending now, so my interest has shifted quite a bit. However, I want to make it very clear that I'm not in any way against videos or channels that focus on unboxing or hauls because these kind of videos can actually be very helpful for people who want to stay in the loop about the latest fashion or trends. However, I think it's also really important to recognize the very nature of these channels and don't blindly aspire to the same level of consumption. More importantly, don't feel less of yourself if you don't own the same amount of luxury handbags, designer shoes, or expensive jewelry pieces. This brings me to my next point, which is slowing down on social media consumption. 20 years ago, keeping up with the Joneses was about comparing yourself to your friends, neighbors, or anyone in your social circle. 20 years later today, 
the Joneses could be any strangers you come across on social media. And seeing most people only post the highlights of their lives, it can be really hard not to compare yourself to these beautiful and maybe Photoshop pictures. There's a saying that goes, you are the five people you spend the most time with. So it makes sense to be really mindful about the kind of content you expose yourself to because it can really influence the way you think. So for example, if you mainly watch unboxing videos, it can start to feel like it's completely normal to buy a designer handbag every month because everyone around you is doing that. If you feel like you're trapped in the cycle of watching then buying, you might want to try out a social media detox. I've been working really hard to cut down on my screen time. It's still a struggle sometimes, but on the days when I don't bury myself in Instagram posts, I feel so much lighter and less anxious. In the last two years, I've also unfollowed a lot of accounts and I now mainly check the feed of the people I follow. For me anyway, slowing down on social media has really helped me to focus on myself a bit more because I'm not engrossed in admiring the lives of other people and I recommend you to do the same. Next, I want to touch on selling luxury items because I feel like not many people talk about this and it's so important to put it out there. Now, first of all, I don't think anyone would buy something just to sell it later, but I do think luxury bloggers with a very big following have more options and leverage if they ever want to let go of pieces from their own collections. I just want to fully acknowledge this because I have a small following myself and I've sold several items through this platform. Whereas in the past, I had no option but to pay the hefty consignment commissions. So I just want to say you really need to factor this in because it will always be harder for you to reverse a shopping mistake compared to a luxury blogger with 100, 200 or 300,000 subscribers. It might sound crazy, but for some very big channels, shopping is just part of the business and it pays for itself. Whereas for regular consumers, shopping is strictly a personal expense and it's not an income generating activity. This is why I think it's so important to slow down and look at things from a different angle and just make a more informed decision. Moving on, I want to talk about why slowing down on your general consumption will give you more freedom in life. When you're not constantly shopping, it literally means you don't have to work as hard to pay for your overconsumption. You could take up a job that pays less but gives you more fulfillment. And even if you really love your job, having a less expensive lifestyle will give you more flexibility. I feel like in today's world, the hustle culture is such a common thing and sometimes we overwork ourselves so much we forget to question why. Don't get me wrong, I know a lot of things in life need money, whether it is a roof over our head, clean water, healthy diet or a pair of shoes. But what if we slow down on the non-essential and the very shiny things? If you are watching luxury videos, you are probably making a very healthy living. And so with a bit of mindfulness, you would put yourself in a much better position. Hard work is great and all, but overdoing it can cost us our health and well-being. And it's completely not worth it if you're doing it to pay for the things you don't really need to buy or the things you don't even like that much. So those are my thoughts about why it's so important to slow down when it comes to shopping, social media consumption, and even work commitment. Before I learned to slow down, I was basically in a rat race. I would work myself to the ground, and with the little spare time I had, I would consume social media really mindlessly. And if I saw something I quite liked, I went shopping. And because I spent a lot of money, I then had to go back to work just so I could sustain the way I rewarded myself for being so hardworking. Like it doesn't even make sense. Anyway, this vicious cycle repeated time and again. And when I finally slowed down and took a step back, it's like I gave myself the space to think and breathe. I might have slowed down on shopping, but I've not been missing out much. In all honesty, I feel more in control. 
I feel lighter and I feel more grateful for everything I already have. More importantly, happiness for me now is a lot simpler and it doesn't have to come in a Cartier box or a Chanel paper bag. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day.